What is up guys, Tanner back from the GT's Outdoors channel. Bring you guys another broadhead review video today. It is on the Grizzly uh, 200 grain broadhead and this is a left bevel, uh, single bevel broadhead. Give you guys a good uh, good look at one here, 200 grain, uh, single bevel. Um, they are pretty nice, they're screw in. Uh, they also have glue-ons through Grizzly. Um, they, these ones come with the adapters. A um, little pick of the packaging here. Pretty uh, pretty nice little package here. So, super excited to try that out. Um, so, for this test, I know my other ones I've been shooting, my 55-pound uh, Martin Backwoods Hunter. But since this is a heavier grain broadhead, this is going to be shot off my 65-pound uh, Cheyenne Primitive. There's one all mocked up here. Uh, I got a 200 grain field point on uh, my Black Arrow or Black Eagle 350, excuse me. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to shoot um, just up against a field point at 12 yards. Just see how it does, like all the other broadhead tests. But you haven't seen the other ones, guys. Go check them out. And uh, then, uh, then we're going to shoot it into that for, uh, frozen pork shoulder bone. So, let me get uh, get set up here and get you guys set up, and I'll see you in a second. All right, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the 200 grain field point, then the 200 grain grizzly. All right, now the broadhead here. Well, I'd say that flies like a field point. <laughs> Don't know how well you guys can see that, but that is two uh, arrows pretty close there so pretty happy with that so I'm gonna go ahead and set up that pork shoulder bone and see what we can do to it definitely flies like a like a field point alrighty got our shoulder bone all set up here I'm gonna try and keep it out of that big joint so back to 12 yards and see what this uh, broadhead can do for penetration I'm really impressed with the flight of this broadhead so Hoping it gets a uh, pretty good penetration here. All right. Man, these things fly awesome. All right, guys. So I can already tell I got not as much penetration as I'd like, but uh, I did kind of hit in that knuckle area there. So that's not uh, not ideal. But uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, shoot that again. So I will give you guys a second look here in just a second. All right, all set up for shot number two. So I got that broadhead out. The first hit was right here. Um, as you guys can tell, a nice S cut, uh, signature of a single bevel. Um, I don't know how you guys can pick this up on camera, but it did roll that edge. Um, so that's not, it's not great. It only did it on the one side, it seems. So when we go ahead and set up and shoot shot number two here in just a second, um, I'm going to see uh, just how well this holds up. This is a two-piece laminated design. So uh, don't really know a lot about them, but uh, based on their flight, I like them so far. So give me just a second, shoot at 12 yards again. All right, here we go with shot number two. Okay. Awesome. Just so, just like I thought, guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. So, there is our wound channel there, and it went straight through. Um, we were buried up to about there, um, and that's a pretty thick piece there so I am pretty happy with that um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this shoulder bone down over here um, give you guys a little view of that edge doesn't seem like it rolled it any more than it already was so that's not a big deal I can take that out with sharpening um, stay tuned guys I will uh, 
give you my final thoughts on this broadhead here in just a second. All righty. Oh. Rambling a little bit here today, guys. Um, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather, been been a little sick lately. So I uh, haven't been talking to a whole lot of people, just kind of uh, hanging out by myself and whatnot. So I'm rambling a little bit. I do apologize. But uh, I'm extremely impressed with the, uh, the Grizzly 200 grain. This is definitely something that I could see uh, myself using in my quiver uh, this coming up deer season. Um, I definitely see this being a good hog broadhead. Um, it's uh, about $40 a pack is what these cost. Um, I paid $44.95 through uh, eBay uh, new for these for a three pack. So not a terrible price per head. Uh, I did have a little bit of that rolled edge that I uh, showed you guys, but that's easily resharpenable. Um, I'm very, very impressed with how these flew for sure. They flew great, uh, as you guys saw in that field point test. Um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give these a nine. Uh, this is something I really, really like. Honestly, these might might come close to a place in my, uh, my favorite, the German Jaegers. So, awesome broadhead, um, just fantastic. Really, really can't have any uh, complaints other than that rolled edge, so that's awesome. Well, I'm Tanner. Um, thank you guys for watching the GT's Outdoors channel. We did it, guys. Um, we are at 102 subscribers, so super excited about that. Thank you guys so much again. Um, you know, big thank you here. Um, really excited for uh, upcoming videos. Stay tuned. we got a bunch of good stuff coming. Um, I'm Tanner. This is GT's Outdoors, and I'll see you in the next one.